Hi, this is Mark from U3DXT.com. Uh, we received several requests to do uh, web view for Unity 3D. So uh, actually, here it is. This is um, the web view. It works the same as you would expect uh, from if it was created as a native app. Uh, the web view is right here center. You can use it to browse all your favorite websites. Uh, the top row is actually created in Unity 3D um, using buttons or the GUI objects. So they're actually all Unity 3D GUI objects. Um, you can use it to hide show and navigate back and forth. Uh, the 2D uh, native iOS WebKit. And how we create the project? Well, um, it's actually fairly simple. We just create a new project as we always do in Unity. After it loads up, uh, we need to import uh, the U3DXT package. You can just double click that and import everything. Um, if we open up the U3DXT folder and scroll down to prefabs, we'll see a new web view prefab. Uh, take a look at the inspector, we can change a few things about it, like the home URL, the location and size, um, and whether or not we want to show navigation buttons, or perhaps do our own. And that's all there is to it. We can go ahead and build. After we change a few player settings, uh, and uh, we also need to change the bundle ID. So this actually is supported in uh, 3.5.7 of Unity as well as 4. Looks like we got everything. Click Build and Run. Uh, save it to a folder. And in about 5 seconds, uh, we should have something working on a device. And here it is again. Well, actually, we've seen this already. So let's dive a little bit deeper and go into the code. This uh, code here, the uh, webviewgameobject.cs, is actually included in the prefab as open source. Um, you guys can feel free to change it in any way you want. A UI kit and foundation as part of U3DXT is what we need to use. Um, scrolling through the code here, what we need to do is instantiate a UI web view and add it to the parent view, which is, just happens to be the uh, root key window. But um, Everything is pretty basic. Uh, well, actually, let's let's uh, take a little bit deeper look since um, the meat of this is actually web view, the object itself. Um, let's take a look at what APIs there is. So, all the API that you would be able to see and use um, from within iOS is available here for you in Unity as well. So you can load your own custom HTML strings, um, even allow. Uh, Pretty fine control of media playback, so you can have the video play by itself uh, when the use when the user launches, like say MP4 or something that's embedded. Um, even evaluate JavaScript directly, so you can manipulate any web page that's loaded uh, from within, of course, uh, C Sharp or JavaScript. So basically, inside Unity, you can access all the features that you would see in WebKit itself, and that's it.